All right, uh, we'll open in Stanley Mude. Uh, Bob, get us started, please. Okay, uh, Stanley, uh, hogstats.com, and he knows all the stats. He said the 19 point lead was the biggest Arkansas has ever had in an SEC road game. Uh, what do you think about the way you guys played in the first half, especially jumping on them 19 to four, kind of like last game, you know, the last time you played them? I think, uh, I think we just came in real focused. You know, we had a good game plan. Uh, and we were all just really locked in on what we needed to do. Uh, Trey got us off to a good start, you know, with, with his energy. And we just kind of fed off of that and, and, and kept going. Yeah, Trey, I don't know, it must be something about uh, seeing black and gold because he had 17 the last time. And I think it's probably his best game since then. Just What do you think about the way he's playing against Missouri these two games? Yeah, it, it's been big for us, you know. Uh, I mean, after last game, I remember Coach was getting on him about just uh, rebounding more and, and, you know, being more active in the offense. So, I think he did a good job of that, and, and he played well. He was big for us tonight. I think he had a double-double. And then Scotty asked uh, Eric this the other day, or yesterday, I guess it was, how ever since you went scoreless at Ole Miss, you've really been scoring well, especially on the road. Was there something about that game? I'm sure it didn't sit well with you not to score, even though you guys won. Um, well, what would you say about the role you've been on since, since that game? Uh, you know, I think it's just been uh, feeling good you know, and feeling, you know, coming in, knowing my role and just uh, – just really being focused on the game plan, it, it really, it really it is. I think the Ole Miss game, I wasn't, I didn't, I wasn't too disappointed. You know, we got the win. I just uh, really, really wasn't making shots. And since then, I've just been, you know, keeping my confidence, my teammates and, and coaches keep doing a good job, you know, finding me in the right spots, putting me in the right spots and just knocking out shots. Yeah, I might have a couple more. I'll, I'll turn it back to Mike. Th thanks, Stanley. Hutch. Hey, Mike, I think Hutch isn't here. He's, he was at a high school game. Oh, sorry, I was looking at the wrong one. Scotty, my man. Yeah, Stan, just what was the, the plan with Kobe Browns? I think any time that he's scored more than 10 points in the SEC, Missouri's won. Anytime they've lost, he's been, I think, at nine or fewer. Tonight, I think he finished with six. What did you guys do to, to really limit him and take him out of the game? Uh, yeah, well, first, uh, Coach Smart, you know, he did a good job of letting us know that stat, you know, let him know that, like, whenever he plays well, the team usually plays well and they, they get a win. So we were really locked in on just shrinking the floor when he catches the ball. And just, you know, it, it takes a, a whole team to guard a player, a good player like that. So we were all locked in whenever he got it. You know, you've been on a kind of a tear from from three, especially on the road. But what, what is it about that left wing that you like so much? It seems like that's a, it's a pretty big knockdown shot for you. Yeah, it, it, it's a sweet spot for me. You know, my, my team does a good, good job of finding me there. I let them know that, you know, in the left wing, I feel I'm feeling good right now. I'm feeling hot from the left wing. And, just knocking them down, you know, getting a lot of reps in, working hard in practice, and just and just carrying it over to the game. Now you guys take care of business on the road again. Set yourself up for a pretty big game uh, against a ranked team on Saturday. What's the kind of the excitement level as of right now for that? Yeah, we're we're super excited. You know, uh, we we were it's a big win for us, and you know, playing on the road is hard to get a, a road win. So we're happy with this one, but we got to lock in and, and have some good practices, get ready for Tennessee. Curtis. Hey, Stanley, you guys were under 35% shooting in the, the two games last week, but uh, just seemed a lot more crisp on the offensive end tonight. Uh, 11 threes, almost 50% from the field. What was the difference on the offensive end? Uh, I think we were playing with a lot of real good pace today. You know, we were, we were moving it and, you know, looking at second, third options in our offense. And I think whenever we went on that little uh, scoring drought, whenever they went on a run, I think we kind of got away from that. But um, and we were taking care of the ball for the most part. I, I don't know how much turnovers we ended up with, but felt like we just had a real good pace to, to our offense today. And then I guess to kind of build off that, you did have five guys in, in double figures. Could you just talk about the balance a little bit? And when you guys have everyone kind of involved in the game offensively, how difficult are you to beat? Uh, I, th I think we're real tough to beat, you know, when we're clicking like that. We got we got a lot of talent. And, you know, when we're trusting each other, believing each other, and we're, we're moving the ball like that, you know, um, offensively, we're going to be hard to beat, as long as, especially if we're, we're playing defense at a high level. Bob. Stanley, I know you beat these guys by 44 at your place, but, you know, Missouri's been pretty tough at home. You know, they beat Alabama, beat Ole Miss, lost to Auburn and Florida by one. Kentucky's really the only other SEC team that's, that's blowing them out like this. Um, do you, why do you think you, you know, as you guys play so well against Missouri? I know they're not a great team, but you guys have handled them better than anybody, it looks like. Yeah, I, I think it's just, um, you know, coming in with that respect, you know, respecting the game, you know, they got a lot of good players and, you know, they could beat anyone on any given night. So we're coming in, you know, with the same mindset as if we were playing Auburn. So I think that's just the, the main thing for that.
And then, you know, I know it was a real tough loss on Saturday. Bouncing back from that, just what do you think was the key to that, to you guys coming out and playing so, so effectively? And you've had to play two road games in four days. That, that's not easy to do, I wouldn't think. No, I, uh, it, it's not easy. You know, road games are hard, but you know, we knew we had to bounce back. We knew how important this game was for us. And, you know, we just we didn't we didn't panic after that loss. You know, we, we could have won, but we just we just put it under, flushed it down the toilet and, and just kept kept our focus and just moved on. And you, you, you were about as hot as you were at Georgia, not quite as many points, but um, were you just feeling it or getting it in good spots? What was the key to six and nine on threes tonight, eight to 13 overall? Uh, you know, just like I said, getting reps up and, you know, my teammates finding me in the right spots. Most of my, I mean, all my threes, I'm pretty sure came off an assist. So, you know, credit to them for finding me. Okay. Th thanks, Stanley. Thanks, Sam. Appreciate your time. Yeah.